Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a continuation of the coloring book um, collection review and kind of medium things that you can use for each of the books. Um, this particular segment of of this film is going to be about the Dover coloring books. Um, I've got a very large collection of the Dover coloring books. And I didn't try each one of them because the paper quality is the same in all of them. So I'm going to show you the ones that I have and then end up um, going through the ones on the bottom here that have the mediums in them. So I've got the Fairyland, the Flower Garden coloring book, the American Wildflowers, Geometric Designs, and this one, there's a couple in here from Creative Heaven. Haven. Um, it's the same company, just a different part of Dover. So um, that's why they're in here too. Paper quality is the same. Uh, Creative Haven's uh, Geometric Designs, Midnight Garden, The Language of Flowers, um, Indian Life in Pre-Columbian North America, um, The Butterfly 3D1, and the uh, Beautiful Butterfly Designs are the exact same book. Um, so if you buy these, um, be sure you don't buy a duplicate copy like I did. Um, they look like they're different, but they're the exact same designs inside. Um, the first, like, even in the same order. Like, that's the first page in here, and that's the first page in here. So, um, they're exactly the same. Uh, sea Monsters. Airplanes of World War One, A Walk in the Woods. Snakes of the World. Prehistoric Mammals, Life in Ancient Mexico, Freshwater Pond. Um, I have all of the Monster Mashup ones, and the fourth one um, is not shown on here. Um, it's in the mail coming to me, so um, that's why I don't have that one here. Um, Monster Mashup, Robots Revenge, um, Rise of the Pre Predators, and Dinosaurs Face Destruction. Um, the other one, I believe, is... No, I have it. It's um, Aliens Meet Their Match. Um, it's down there. Um, Arctic and Antarctic Life. The Unbelievable Cryptozoology Coloring Book, which is a really cool one. Um, Human Anatomy. The Hidden Picture Puzzle Coloring Book. And we come to our first one with a little tag in it. Um, so this particular one I have done some coloring pages in, or one anyway. Um, this particular one is uh, Crayola. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Um, so that one's Crayola. And it looks pretty good um, for being the Crayola that it is. So Crayola works fine in these coloring books. Um, the next one I have to show you is Prismacolor. And you can tell the vibrancy difference between the two of those. And each one of the books I have just shown you, each have their own individual review. Um, if you click on my name below, it will bring up all of my videos um, of past ones that I have done. And each one of the books that I am showing in this series has a individual review where I flip through the books and go through the different details of the books and page quality and, and all that stuff. Um, so that one's Orchids of the World. And this one I'm going to zoom in on because I did it in a very small area because these books do not have test pages. Um, but it works none, nonetheless. So... Um, the first one we have is the Faber-Castell Polychromos, and we have Crayola, a Prismacolor Premier, Spectrum Noir Colored Pencils, Fine Liners, Gel Pens. Um, next we have the Pastels. Um, these are soft pastels, by the way, not the oil pastels. Um, watercolor and the Aqua Markers from Spectrum Noir. Down here, we have the alcohol markers, Karen Dosh Neocolor 2s, Recollections, which is the 
uh, stick pastel, water soluble pastel um, from Michael's brand. And then we have gelatos. So things I would and would not recommend for these books. I would not recommend alcohol markers. Um, as you see, they bleed through. And the watercolor markers bleed through as well. So I would not recommend those. Um, other than that, I would not recommend the Recollection Collection here. Um, they did not spread like they needed to. Um, other than that, everything else did very well, surprisingly. Um, I was really surprised about the watercolor and the gelatos and the neocolor twos from Caran d'Ache. Um, each one of these is a pastel stick and you have to use water to spread it out and it works much similar to watercolor. Um, this one was as well, but this didn't spread like these spread and it kind of made the paper rough. So just because you have, have the product doesn't mean it's going to work the same between the different companies. Um, the pastels worked really well and the watercolor worked really well. And I was really surprised about the watercolor because of the page quality in these books are like a, a copy paper, printer paper kind of quality, very thin paper um, to be using watercolor on. But if you're careful with the water and you can control it very well, um, the watercolor works really well in these books. So I was surprised about that. Um, the other things I would recommend, my favorite um, colored pencil in these books are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Um, they went down much smoother. Um, you can see in the picture here, um, it kind of went down rough, the Prismacolor did. And the Crayola even went down a little rough. Um, the Spectrum Noir went down rough. You can see the little grainy bits in here. The Faber-Castell went down very smooth. I was impressed with that. And the fine liners and gel pens did really well as well. So those are my recommendations and my non-recommendations um, for these books. So thank you so much for watching. This is a shorter video than the others will be. And I thank you for coming to see my video. And hopefully I'll see you on the other series. Thank you so much.